So welcome everyone to this virtual community meeting regarding the upcoming Riverside Street Improvement. My name is Justina Simone and I'm a project manager with the City of Fort Worth's Transportation and Public Works Department. Also present on the call are staff from the Water Department and as I consult if you have questions for them at the end. Um, at this time before we start, I'd like to invite Council Member Martinez from District 11 where this project is located. Would you like to say something? Hi, Justina. No, just thank you so much for um, organizing this meeting and um, just, uh, wanting to see what the uh, project will encompass and here uh, to support any way that I can. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so the purpose of this presentation is to provide you with some information about the project scope and proposed improvements, as well as seek community input throughout the project. So during this presentation, I'll be talking about the project as a whole, providing a summary of the improvements on each street associated with this project, discussing the expected schedule moving forward. At the end, we'll open it up for questions. So first, we'll talk about the overall scope of improvements associated with this project. So this project is funded from two sources. The first is the 2022 bond, which was voted on by the residents of Fort Worth, and the second is the water department. So the streets that are funded by the 2022 bond, you can see the first few on this map. So we have number one, Blandon Street. The limits are from Bird Street to McLemore Avenue. Number two, Dell Street from Blandon Street to North Chandler Drive. Number three, Grapewood Street from North Chandler Drive to North Riverside Drive. Number four, Plumwood Street from North Chandler Drive to North Riverside Drive. And we have on this map number five, Clarence Street from Airport Freeway to Wheeler Street. And the remainder of the streets are funded by the Water Department, which are number six, Fox Drive from Shadow Lane to Kings Highway. Number seven, Shadow Lane from Wheeler Street to Airport Freeway. Number eight, Wayne Street from Wheeler Street to Airport Freeway. Number nine, Oak Knoll Drive from Wheeler Street to Airport Freeway. And number 10, Airport Freeway from Shadow Lane to Oak Knoll Drive. So on the next few slides, I'll discuss the existing conditions present on these streets. We'll go into more detail about the scope of each one. On this slide, you can see Plumwood Street, Grapewood Street, Dell Street, and Clarence Street. Um, you can see from the pictures, there's some sections of curb missing. There's some deteriorated asphalt pavement. Um, so these are the existing conditions. Um, and this is what we're going to be doing to improve these streets. So first up, we have Blandon Street and Dell Street. Um, so in Blandon Street, we'll be upgrading the existing 6-inch water to 8-inch. And on Dell Street, we'll be relocating the existing 6-inch sewer in the alley to the street and upgrading it to an 8-inch. Um, i like to mention also, if you live on Dell Street, you should be getting a notification soon to allow the surveyors into your backyard to locate the existing sewers so they can prepare plans for the sewer relocation. In terms of paving improvements, we'll be installing on both of these streets new pavement with concrete curbs, new concrete driveways with an 11 foot minimum width. If the existing driveways are wider than 11 feet, then we will match existing, and that applies for all the new driveways on this project. And there will also be new five foot sidewalk on both sides of the street. Next up is Plumwood Street and Grapewood Street, limits from North Chandler to North Riverside. For both of these, we are upgrading the existing 6-inch water to 8-inch and installing new pavement with concrete curves, new concrete driveways with an 11-foot minimum width. For Grapewood, we are installing new 5-foot sidewalk on both sides of the street, and on Plumwood, new 5-foot sidewalk on the south side of the street. Clarence Street number 5 from Wheeler to Airport Freeway. We are upgrading the existing 6-inch water to 8-inch water and, six, and, and the 6-inch sewer to 8-inch as well. Installing new pavement with concrete curbs, new concrete driveways with 11-foot minimum width, and new 5-foot sidewalk on both sides of the street. For Fox Drive number 6, we are upgrading the existing 10-inch water to 12-inch, upgrading the existing 6-inch sewer to 8-inch. We are also installing new pavement. And Shadow Lane, Wayne Street, and Oak Knoll Drive, numbers 7, 8, and 9, from Wheeler to Airport Freeway. We'll be upgrading the existing 6-inch water to 8-inch, 
and upgrading the existing six inch sewer to eight inch and installing new pavement. S1 Airport Freeway number 10 from Shadow to Oak Knoll, we are upgrading the existing six inch water and sewer to eight inch. So the water and sewer improvements in, on Airport Freeway are located in the parkway, not in the street pavement, which is why we're not doing any paving improvements on Airport Freeway. And so this is like these pictures show you what you have to look forward to after the construction is complete. So you see have new pavement with uh, new concrete curb and gutter, new concrete driveways. Um, and additionally here we have new concrete sidewalk and new ramps. So it gives you a vision of what your neighborhood will look like when the construction is done. So how long is this all going to take? Um, this slide shows the main milestones coming up for the project. We are currently in design and we're expecting the 90% plans in December. We will then move through the advertising and bidding process to start construction in December 2025 and that will go until February 2027. Before the construction starts, we'll have another meeting similar to this one. It will be a pre-construction public meeting, and in that meeting, we'll talk more in detail about what to expect around your neighborhood during this construction. Um, and also similar to this one, you will receive mailer cards with a date prior to the meeting. If you'd like to get more information about this project, um, you can go to this website linked here, which will also be sent in the chat. Or you can go to the Fort Worth website, www.fortworthtexas.gov. And if you type in 104317 in the search bar, then it'll take you to that same project webpage. And this webpage will contain updated information throughout the course of the project. This presentation will be uploaded as well as the recording if you'd like to rewatch it later or if one of your neighbors missed it today, then it will be available online to watch later. If you'd like more information about the 2022 bond, you can also use this link, um, which will be sent in the chat as well. Um, you can also go to the Fort Worth website and search 2022 bond, um, and it should pop up. Um, if you're not already using the My Fort Worth app, I just want to bring your attention to it. It's a quick and easy way to report any issues to the city. It allows you to write like a brief description about what the issue is, upload some pictures and use the map to submit any concerns you may have. And once you submit it, it goes to the appropriate people at the city. Um, on the app, you can also view the status of your request and it sends you a notification when the work is done. By this time, we'll go ahead and open up the meeting for any questions or comments. Okay. I'll also okay. To unmute themselves to ask a question. Uh, now is the time. Also, alternatively, you can put your question in the chat box and we'll get to it that way. I have a silly question. Okay. Um, how is the public made aware of these meetings? Is it just via the Fort Worth website or do uh, people in the neighborhoods like receive any flyers or anything like that? Uh, for, are you referring to the upcoming meeting for before we go to construction? Sorry, I meant this one. Oh, so you should have received a flyer in the mail um, with a link to, uh, to this meeting and logging information. Okay, I'm not, um, I don't live in the neighborhood. I actually just searched up the meeting on the Fort Worth website. So I was just curious how actual residents were aware of the meeting going on, but oh, okay. um, thank you for yeah. letting me know. Okay, thank you for that. Yes, um, anybody that is directly affected by the, the project within the project limit, um, should have received a mailer in the mail notifying this of, no, notifying them of the meeting. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. And Gregory, also we, uh, an email gets sent out if you um, are registered for the District 11 News. Mm. Uh, 
email. Um, and so uh, notifications get sent out that way. Too. Okay. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Does anybody have any further questions? Like I said, feel free to unmute yourself, or if you would like, put the question in the chat, and I will get to it that way. And I've also put a link uh, to the project website in the chat, so you can click on it, and I've also put a link to information about the 2022 bond. I guess I'm going to be the chatty one, but I just appreciate you guys um, having this meeting so that we can remain informed in the community. Um, I have no further questions, though. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank and I you. know just contact information is there, and I know she'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. All right, if there's no more questions at this time, then we'll go ahead and conclude this meeting. Um, thank you everyone for attending. Like Greg said, my contact information is on the screen. Please feel free to email me or call me anytime um, if you have any questions, if you think of any questions after this meeting is over. Um, and again, thank you everyone for attending and have a nice evening. Thank you. Good evening. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Bye. Uh-oh. <laughs>